It seems like our little clinic this year is going to take care of about, we're guessing about 150 melanomas. 150, guys. That doesn't, I mean, I can't even count how many basals or squamous cells. Um, how many severely atypicals? How many really bad acnes that people won't go on dates or won't do social things because they're just freaked out? How many of us had a, a situation in life where we didn't want to go to a social event, didn't want to go to a dinner, didn't want to go on a date, didn't want to do something because we had a pimple that was this size? Right? So a lot of us have had that, been self-conscious. So all the acnes, all the eczemas that are keeping people awake at night, all of the, <sighs> right? Sometimes I have this really unfortunate personality trait of focusing on the one negative patient interaction that happened all week long, <laughs> right? We all do that. And I think we need to look at that to see what we could do better, because if we don't look at what our role was in it, we never will get better for the next one. But man, I've really been trying to work on tempering that with the other hundred that went great. So um, I'm working on that. I think we should as well. But today, I would encourage everybody to put ourselves in our patient's shoes and ask if we had what we were working on. How would we feel? You can't do that for every patient because you will get emotionally exhausted by the end of the day. But I'd encourage just one or two, ask yourself how you would feel with that. And then celebrate what you did to help them. It's really cool.